Every industry, every sector of the UK economy is waiting for the next development. So what does tech want from Brexit? How do the entrepreneurs see their future in a country outside of the EU? Are investors waiting on the sidelines? And can other cities steal London's startup crown? Told in their own words, The Edge takes a look at Brexit. Perry Lewis. I'm one of the co-founders of Mastered, uh, and Mastered is a talent development company based in London. Mastered uh, helps uh, creative professionals who want to work in the fashion industry uh, get the skills, uh, the attitude, the network and the exposure that they need to succeed. Over the last two and a half years uh, we've increased the company to about 45 staff. Um, when we started everything was bootstrapped. Um, so we uh, sustained ourselves uh, and then over the last couple of years we've had investment from some really great investors. I'm Harry Briggs, I'm a partner at BGF Ventures. We are an early stage UK investor in tech companies that we think um, could really disrupt industries. We are looking for those outstanding companies that we think have the potential to generate outstanding outlier returns. Um, so if we invest, for example, £3 million for 20% in a business, we'll only do that if we think that that business could end up being worth hundreds of millions of pounds and that £3 million could become worth £60, £90, £100 million. Pounds. Um, now, clearly that's not going to happen every time, but, uh, but because also some of our investments won't make it because it's a very competitive industry and it's fast moving and it's, it's hard, uh, therefore we have to believe in every investment we make that it has that potential. I remember the morning uh, that Brexit happened, coming into work and actually having some of the team like on my shoulders crying because um, even though we live in London and it's a place where obviously we voted uh, against it, um, actually there was just a sense of like, do people want us here? We've come over to this country because we think there's amazing opportunities, but are we wanted? Are we needed? Uh, what's going to happen to our jobs here? Will that be affected? And uh, it was definitely like a, a moment of realisation that all the stuff that obviously gets talked about in the news and you see actually has a massive impact on the people that you know here in real life. I'm Elizabeth Varley. I'm the founder and CEO of Tech Hub. We're the global community for technology entrepreneurs. I wasn't surprised, uh, I have to say. Uh, I thought there was a real chance of it and I did have concerns about that leading up to it. My first instinct was to think about my team. My first act was to send something out to all of our European members uh, and to our European teams to say we are committed to you being part of what we're doing and we are committed to helping you succeed in what you want to do. I'm Rory Sterling, I'm co-founder and partner at BGF Ventures. We think Brexit has the ability to uh, influence or have an impact on the number of companies started here in the UK, uh, which is why we're really interested in the output or the outcome rather of the Brexit negotiations. We want the very best founders anywhere in the world uh, to feel like the UK is one of the leading places to build their company. My name is Milenko Pilic. I'm a CEO and founder of Haysuccess.com. We provide students and recent graduates from all over the world access to internships, scholarships, summer schools, conferences abroad. And on another side, we help companies to access a global uh, pool of talent. For a long time, we knew that UK is a very good location for our type of business. Um, uh, education is something that uh, UK is really globally famous for, very cosmopolitan, uh, the same as our market is. In 2014, um, we were contacted by UK Trade Investment. They launched a program called Sirius Program. Uh, it was aimed to attract uh, foreign entrepreneurs. Uh, and the brightest ideas to the UK and then scale them, scale them up globally. We won the competition in August 2014 and then in November 2014 we finally, um, management team finally moved to London and that's how our journey started. I'm Dr. Peter Chadder, I'm CEO of uh, Dr. Peter Technology Experts and we provide independent technology advice to growing companies of all descriptions. I think most people wouldn't think Brexit is ideal for the tech sector, but in my view, uh, the UK needs to open its arms around the world. 
And technology is not just centered in Europe, it's centered in the States, it's centered in Asia, and I think we can embrace more being in the tech center worldwide. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.